The Pacific Island nation of Kiribati. Is it sinking into oblivion because of global warming? Island residents say no, but some journalists claim they're living in denial. Let's look at just facts. Kiribati, or Kiribati to the natives, is comprised almost entirely of coral reef islands, which are typically found in the Pacific Ocean. These are mostly made of gravel, silt, and sand that have accumulated on coral reefs. Since they're made of loosely bound sediments and sit slightly above sea level, they're considered to be among the most vulnerable places on Earth to rising sea levels. Slate editor and staff writer Joshua Keating argues in a Washington Post feature that Kiribati is likely to be drowned by climate change not that long from now. He says the entire nation could become little more than a reinforced platform with a flag perched in the open ocean, and its capital city, Tarawa, where nearly half the country's 110,000 residents live, could soon be substantially underwater. Keating's source? A 2015 report that Kiribati's former president sent to the UN. While the report makes note of financial resources Kiribati would like to have in the name of fighting climate change, it has no citations to support its claim that the island is sinking. To the contrary, the authors of a 2010 paper in the journal Global and Planetary Change used aerial and satellite photographs to conduct the first quantitative analysis of physical changes in 27 Central Pacific coral reef islands, including those in Kiribati. The study examined four islands in Tarawa over a period of 31 to 65 years and found that all four islands exhibited an increase in island area. Notably, the three urbanized islands of Becio, Bairiki, and Naniki increased in area by 30%, 16.3%, and 12.5%, respectively. Bairiki in the north of the atoll exhibited an increase of 2%. And this isn't unique to Kiribati. According to the study, among the 43 islands surveyed, 43% remained stable, 15% decreased in area, with changes ranging from 3 to 14%, and 43% increased in area, with changes ranging from 3 to 30%. In the words of the paper, the results of this study contradict widespread perceptions that all reef islands are eroding in response to recent sea level rise. Likewise, the authors of a 2013 paper in the journal Sustainability Science used aerial and satellite photographs to examine changes in shoreline position on the majority of reef islands in Tarawa from 1943 to 2007. They also found that these islands substantially increased in size. And despite the widely held perception that reef islands around the perimeter of coral atolls are eroding and will disappear as a consequence of sea level rise resulting from global warming, this study shows that the total area of reef islands on Tarawa Atoll has increased over recent decades. They also found that most of the increase was from human activities, like filling in marine areas with materials from nearby beaches and shore to create new land. Yet even rural areas dominated by natural processes have had modest natural rates of growth and usually show stability. The same paper notes that some individuals observe evidence of erosion of reef islands and infer that they are threatened by sea level rise from global warming. However, as the authors explain, these trends have often been shown to be cyclic natural changes that have nothing to do with global warming. Since long before humans began using fossil fuels, the Earth and its climate have been changing. As stated in the college textbook Evolution of Sedimentary Rocks, Every area of the continents has been at one time covered by the sea, and there are some places that show clear record of being submerged at least 20 separate times. Many people are unaware that there's a difference between global and local sea level rise. While tide gauge and satellite data have shown a general rise in average global sea level, that doesn't mean it has risen everywhere. For example, the Indian Ocean is about 330 feet below the worldwide average but sea level in Ireland is about 200 feet above average. Such variations are caused by gravity, winds, and currents, and the practical effects of these phenomena are dynamic. Between the years of 1992 and 2010, sea level rose by about six inches in the tropical western Pacific, while falling by about the same amount in San Francisco. Yet while ignoring all of these relevant facts, Keating frets near the end of his article that the citizens of Kiribati seem no more troubled about the issue of climate change than people in the United States. 
Reporting on his visit to Kiribati and his interviews with the locals, he writes, Most people I met weren't making plans to relocate anytime soon. Instead, I heard a lot of frustration that the rest of the world seems to take notice of the I Kiribati only to tell them they're doomed. Several people I spoke with had already given interviews about climate change to foreign reporters. In my case, you were the fifth person, remarked Tiwata Aramata. People come and ask us the same questions. They see pictures of us and think we are drowning in the ocean. Rather than considering the possibility that these folks might know what they're talking about, Keating psychoanalyzes them, writing, I came to Kiribati expecting to find a place planning for its own destruction, but instead I found something more dispiriting, a place that, with a few exceptions, wasn't even contemplating that destruction. The mental block that prohibits thinking about what will happen when the islands are no longer inhabitable seems to be a major impediment to planning for that eventuality. In this regard, too, Kiribati is a microcosm of the world's unwillingness to face the reality of the future. This is a classic example of how media outlets embrace certain falsehoods and speak condescendingly of those who tell the truth. Given the effects of media on the public and governments, such fake news can waste enormous resources on fake problems while diverting time and money from real ones. I'm Amanda Reed Sheik here with just facts. For thorough documentation of every fact in this video and more facts about this issue, read the article The Nation of Kiribati is Growing, Not Sinking at JustFactsDaily.com.